Uh, I'm gonna get this show started, y'all. I hope uh, other people show up tonight again. We're broadcasting from the Dud channel because we have currently been banned from streaming on the broadcast channel because uh, we did something illegal there two Sundays ago. And we still got 80 days on our ban. After 80 days, then we'll go to broadcasting back on that channel. But in the meantime, we're broadcasting on another link. Make sure you go to our social medias to get those links and shit. Uh, but yeah, the links are there, so you'll find them. And I try to put them on the actual page of, you know, the broadcast channel, the channel you're already subscribed to. It should be at the top uh, on Friday. I'll, I'll try to remember to put it on top on Friday. Link this broadcast from another because you can link videos from another channel i didn't even know you could do that i just found that out so i'll try to do that but still youtube does not give you notifications for shit like that so you actually have to go and look for it uh sorry about that hopefully in 80 days we can go back to normal uh but let's get going man we'll start with the comments we got a lot of comments and we'll, we'll, we'll get going we'll get the show on the road and by the time the show starts uh we'll get a good buzz going on so here we go with the comments y'all here are my social medias and Twitter. It's at Sonaman665. And Instagram, it's at the underscore underground underscore broadcast. And on TikTok, it's at the underground broadcast. Uh, those are our social medias. So make sure you subscribe to that so you can get up to date with all the bullshit that we say and links and ass. Uh, basically, I mean, it's basically the show. If you watch the show on Friday or Saturday, you don't have to watch any of the videos the rest of the week, to be honest with you. Oh, well. Anyways, we don't bullshit on this channel. We tell you the truth, even if it sucks. Uh, we're going to start with our first commenter. And it's none other than uh, our first one of our official OG Woke Packers, Gomer Kyle. Let me hit it for this guy. What's your name, scumbag? Gomer Pyle. Private Pyle, I'm going to give you three seconds to wipe that stupid looking grin off your face, or I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you. One. Two, three. Shazam. Uh, Gomer says on the podcast video, broadcast video, this video gets a Trump shout out. Gomer pass. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> President Trump shot at Gomer and Joe Cool out. That was crazy. Cheers to the hashtag. Live. Let's do it in November. Trump 2024. That AI is the shit. Hashtag. Ah, oh, yeah. I should do the, the for life go. Or go. I don't know. I'll think of something. Sucking, the, sucking on the thumb, maybe? I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get going. Cheers, Gomer. Hope you show up tonight. Yeah, now I got slobber all over my finger for that. I gotta wipe it down. Oh, yeah. Mm. All right, here we go. Oh, the cunt. Resident Australian. Uh, He wrote, I hate when this shit jumps like that. Here you go. God damn, I missed the show. I didn't get notifications. Fucking YouTube, that dog. I'm proper... I'm proper surprised people are hating on Avatar. I thought it nailed it better in the adaptation than One Piece. Yeah, I, th I mean, you know, I had never seen One Piece, so I, I liked it. Uh, I can tell you that I hate the anime. Uh, I cannot stand watching it, uh, especially once Chopper joins. It really, really sucks. Just some of the characters can be really annoying and loud. Annoyingly loud in One Piece, in the anime. And they turned me off a lot. Um, especially because it happens throughout the episode. Like, nonstop. And I'm just like, God damn it, man. That's like hanging out with someone you don't want to hang out with. And that's kind of what it was. I like the Netflix show. Uh, I do. Uh, but I had never seen the anime One Piece. I tried to see it afterwards. I didn't like it. Anyways. He said, I always thought Aang was a reference to Tibet and how China rolled in on them in Mongolia. Remember that movie? Kung Dun, they made that Disney was a pussy to release. Uh, ah, uh, uh, yeah. Woke packs for life. R.I.P. Akira Toriyama, one of the all time legendary ink slingers. Yeah, R.I.P. Toriyama san, we shall miss you. Uh, and your creations. 
Um, yeah, I mean, that's exactly what the, you're right. It was a kind of an allegory to that. The Chinese and the Tibetans. Like, it's crazy. Like, China was like fucking uh, all about like weird shit. Taoism and ass about the the waters and the wind. And then <laughs> and then they kind of started the Buddhism. And then China started turning Christian. There's a lot, a lot of Christians. There's more Christians than anything in fucking China right now. Uh, they're turning into a Christian nation, whereas the United States is turning into a satanic nation. Or you know what? Let's just let's just come out and say it. It's always been a satanic nation. Um, but they're really turning into a Christian nation. And then they they fucking rolled on all those Tibetans because the Tibetans were saying like, Nah, you're God. Everyone is God. You all are the same. And they got pissed. What is this nonsense about peace and love? Fuck you. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty fucked up though because. Like, all those people are, like, blood-related, man. And then, like, just because of the fucking things they believe in, they hate on each other. That's fucked up. That's the main reason why us humans are excluded from the galactic empire that exists. Is because they know that, like, we can't even get along as a species. Imagine when we meet other species. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they are probably more united in their own because, oh, we're, like, fucking Pleiadians. And we're Draconians. And we're this and that. Whereas over here, we're all like, oh, yeah, I'm Mexican, I'm black, I'm American, I'm Jewish, and shit. And it's like, no, you idiots, you're all just human. Do you understand? Uh, but no, they don't, they don't. That's the problem. Uh, I feel like we're probably like this, like a zoo, you know, like, they all come here. Or maybe they don't come here, maybe they're just watching us with their satellites and shit, you know, their technology, and they just watch us, like the South Park episode, like a TV show. And that's the way it is. We're too destructive to be up there with where the real intelligent life. We can't. You think Lil Wayne or, or fucking Cardi B or anybody like that can go and have an intelligent conversation with an alien life? Fuck no. Maybe their pet dog or something, their pet spider or alien fucking squid that they have. Maybe they can fucking come hang out with us, but we can't talk. To, we, we can't hang out with aliens. Nuh uh. It'd be like us talking to a fucking, a, I don't know, a caveman or something. Just you know, a monkey flinging shit. That's how they look at us. That's probably what we are. Anyways, cheers, a cunt. I uh, uh, went out of there. I'm, 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 now, I'm trying to get high now, y'all. Anyways, he said another comment on the, on the Alec Baldwin short video that I made. He says, the only thing Alec Baldwiner is guilty of is being a douche. Yeah, yeah. And fucking a lot of Hollywood stars, this son of a bitch. Him and Steven. I think Steven probably fucked more finer bitches than this dumbass. Uh, they both did. I ain't gonna lie, man. This guy was getting some poo tang back in the day before he got all thick and shit. I ain't gonna lie. The Baldwins and Billy Baldwin. They said that fucking Sharon Stone. Did you hear that shit? I'm not gonna cover it tonight, but they said that Sharon Stone, the producer, fucking. <laughs> the producer said, hey, this guy sucks at acting. Why don't you sleep with him so that way he, you guys can have better chemistry? And she's all like, "What? Like it's not my fault he can't act. I gotta sleep with him so that <laughs> so that he becomes a better actor." And she did anyways because it was her job back then. Uh, but that's what she's saying. And she said, "Fucking Billy Baldwin <laughs> with a name like that, you know he sucked at acting." <laughs> Cheers. Hmm. And Gomer Kyle is here! It's here for this asshole! Cheers, Gomer! What's your name, scumbag? Gomer Pyle? Private Pyle, I'm gonna give you three seconds to wipe that stupid looking grin off your face, or I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you! One, two, three! Shazam! Cheers, Gomer, we're glad you made it. Hope everything's alright, man. Uh, we got some rain. I don't know how you're doing, you probably got snow or something. No, you got, I think you're getting storms pretty soon. I think they're rolling out of my area and heading towards your way. You better be careful. Uh, the weather got crazy the last day and a half. Suddenly. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the end of times, fellas. The end of times. Y'all better be get right with yourselves. With yourselves. Remember that. All right. Cheers, cunt. Cheers, Gomer. Let me keep on with the comments. Ah, oh, this fucking Satanist. Rocco, fuck my life. Let me hit it for this fucking guy. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. Rocco. I keep hitting uh the numbers here while I'm highlighted on this. I'm sorry, y'all. There. Uh, 
Rocco says, Yo, I logged on and tried to put my laptop to record, but your feed never came on. Oh, last Friday. Now I know you got banned. That sucks. It's a dud channel. You gotta look for the links in the social media, as I told you, fuckers. Hey, son, my roommate showed me that Parasite Maxim anime last year. It's badass. Dude. Remember I told you guys that I fucking went crazy for that trailer and I knew nothing about it. I thought I was going to go and with my Jack Sparrow Bay and download it. And I did. Uh, it's called, yeah, it is called Parasite Maxim. You really did watch it. Um, I'm on episode 13. There's only 24 episodes, but I'm on episode 13. It's badass, bro. It's, n it's entirely not what I thought it was going to be. I don't even know. I don't even think the show is going to be like that. The show looks different than that. Uh, but it's badass. Uh, I, I recommend it, y'all. The, the, there's a kid. The way it starts is that this kid, you know, these spores fall from space or whatever, and a little worm comes out of it, and they go into the, to, into your brain through your ear hole. And once they control you, they change your DNA, and it becomes you're no longer you. It's, it's the alien. And the alien lives in your brain, and then when, when it comes out to feed, because it's got to feed on humans, uh, your, the head opens up like a mouth. And, it, and they all kind of look similar, but different in, in each of them. It's fucking nuts. Uh, but this kid is falls asleep with his, with his headphones, with his beats on or whatever, and the little parasite can't get in the, the fucking <laughs> the ear. So he fucking crawls up the kid's nose. If any bug... I mean, I don't know if that's ever happened to you. It's happened to me. But anything tries to crawl up your nose, you feel it. it I mean, and you wake up. And you're like, what the fuck? It happened to me once a very, very long time ago. It was a spider. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> I should have swallowed that thing. Fuck me, piece of shit. Let you let my stomach acids dissolve you. It's fucking trying to crawl in my fucking nose. Anyways. Yeah, so the kid fucking wakes up and snorts it out. And... And then the thing, the thing, because you hear its thoughts, the thing is all like, I only have a few more seconds. I have to freaking latch onto something or I'm going to die because it came out of the spore, the little worm. So the worm darts at the guy and he goes like that with his hand and it goes right there in the skin and it starts crawling, make, trying to make its way to his head. This fucking guy grabs a wire or his headphones and he ties it around his fucking arm where and then the thing can't pass and he's all like ah like tying it super hard so then all of a sudden the thing you don't he doesn't see it anymore but what ends up happening is because because he didn't let it pass on to the brain it only stayed there and the thing needed to fuse was i guess it only has a certain amount of time once it leaves the little spore to fuse so it only fuses with his arm so He's now like a half hat, like his arm, you know, is a half hat. It's crazy, bro. He's almost like a superhero, half alien superhero. And he's all the killing all these other aliens. And then the thing talks to him in his head. Like he can hear its thoughts. It's so fucking badass, that anime. Man. I'm not done watching it. Um, It's depressing, too. It's fucking fucked up and depressing. I mean, shit, man. Uh, the, th the things that happens. Uh uh gomer i'm with you the time change has been killing me too i'm still not used to it uh i'm all fucked up anyways rocco says uh keep it real my g cheers gomer cheers trumps cheers indy cheers joe cool cheers joe cool and the rest of the woke pack hashtag live ah uh, yeah cheers rocco you son of a bitch you shouted everyone out motherfucker All right, let's see who else. Oh, Eddie Molina Vilches. He's fucking Mexican, Italian son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, Eddie says on the on the parasite. He says YouTube is the parasite. Tell, oh, parasite. Oh, YouTube is the parasite. Oh. Yeah, yeah, YouTube is a... YouTube, ever since Google took it over, I guess you could say it's a fucking parasite. He also says, cheers, my brown ski. Cheers, bitches. Thank you for being and commenting. Oh, this guy commented a lot. This new guy. This new guy named Julian Del Castle. 509. On the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man 4 video. 
Who, he says, who wants Spider-Man 4, Tobey Maguire, May 3rd, 2024? Because I do. Well, yeah, of course we do, but that's not going to happen because that's like, what, like three months away? They don't, they, they didn't film anything. That'd be badass. I'm going to lie. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't, and then he went on and he says, who also wants the amazing Spider-Man 3 with under Garfield to actually happen and to be released on June 7th, 2024? That would be amazing, he says, because I would love that as well. Who's with me? I'm with you, except it's unrealistic because that's like uh, five months away and they can't film a movie. They, they haven't filmed nothing. We know it's not happening. And then he says, uh, oh, and one more thing. Who thinks Spider-Man Beyond, Beyond the Spider-Verse should be released this December instead of 2025? Because I wouldn't want to have to wait until next year for the movie to be released. In my opinion, the movie should happen this year. Who's with me? I'm with you too. Except Sony has fired a hundred, one hundred of their fucking animators right after the end of the last movie to cut costs. And now they have to delay it because they don't have enough animators. You know, they have animators, but not animators that like to work eight to ten hours a day. They have anima animators that like to work four days a week for five hours, and they need to get at least one mental health day a month. Okay, when you have that kind of diversity in the workplace, let's be honest, work never gets done. So that's why we're still waiting on these Spider-Man movies. Cheers! Julian Del Queso. Arthur Charlie, another guy, a new guy. On the Nick Swartzen video, uh, uh, the one the one where he sucks ass at a stand-up. What the fuck did I just click on? Dot, dot, dot. The voice, the attitude, dot, dot, dot. The look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it's Andrew Swartzen or whatever the fuck this guy's name is. That's what you clicked on. I'm disappointed too, because I don't ever thought he was funny. Anyways, cheers, Arthur Charlie. Thank you for commenting, watching the video. All right, all right, let's see who's next. Oh, it's none other than Houston, Texas, very own. The one, the only, Jose Trevino. Let me hit it for this asshole. Repites tu nombre, por favor. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ¿ok? Oh, yeah. Me tienes envidia, puto. Oh, yeah, Joe Cool, you're the shit, motherfucker. He says, uh, what up, gay? I mean, guy, great show as usual, son. Keep keeping G like a player should. You know we do, motherfucker. I can't believe your channel got struck for AEW. Yeah, yeah. It was actually fight. Was it fightful? I think it was fightful. That, uh... No, I don't even know if it was fightful. It wasn't AEW directly that gave us a strike. It was the, the, per the people that were selling the pay-per-view. Damn it, son. You did it to watch Darby and those Daisy dudes, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, Darby's there. Come on, man. You want a big fucking muscly guy, you son of a bitch. You're not Darby Allen. Motherfucker. You know who's up? What, what, you know what? Billy Gunn is, what, 52 years old, and that motherfucker has a better body than fucking all of the roster there. God damn it. There's some really good wrestlers out there, but you would see them in the streets. You would never know they were wrestlers because they look like your average Joes and shit. Eddie Kingston being at the top of it. Shit. If Eddie Kingston could be a wrestler, it's Joe Cool. You could be a wrestler and so could you. So per se, Joe Cool. Shit. If Darby Allin could be a wrestler, so could I. I'm, I'm pretty sure I would die right away with one of the stunts that Darby Allin. I don't know how the fuck he does it, bros. You know? I'm, you know, I've seen some of those Mexican wrestlers that go up there and fight, and I go online and see how, and they're, they're about my height. 
but they're still bigger than me. They might be my height, but they're bigger than me. And I'm like, man, one slam, one body slam on my back on that mat, it would take all my air out. And I'd be like, <sighs> <laughs> I promise you, I would not be able to take one body slam. I gave it props to all the motherfuckers. But when it comes down to bodies, Billy Guide, motherfucker, 52 years old, that son of a bitch. No, I, don't, I think it's older than that, 52. I think it's more than that, man. I think that guy's close to his 60s, but, you know. Oh, I give him all credit, man. I'll tell you like that. Not on their bodies. Some motherfuckers need to hit the gym. Adam Cole, baby. Son of a bitch. You're a damn good wrestler and you're a pretty boy, but you need to get some fucking tone in your fucking body. Anyways, I'm getting off the subject here. Yeah, yeah. Um, damn it, son. He says, anyways, Mr. President Trump, it sounded awesome. Oh, the AI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. Me, Goms, and his political ways. Oh, oh Gomes. Oh, and the... Oh, he, he, he was about to diss me. He says, the WWO. Damn it, son. Make a drop of that. I got you, motherfucker. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's as best as I could do because the new order is too fast. And uh, they don't have a sample that's just clean unless I do it myself. I'll try it. But that's, I got you. I got you. AKA the woke pack. He says, I'll stand back and stand by. Shout out to the woke pack. Hashtag. Woke pack. Oh, 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 live. He says, hashtag. Woke, woke pack. Yeah, woke pack world order. That's how we do in this channel. Uh, that's a, that could be a shirt, man. Fuck a, you know. So we maybe give a shirt away at the end of the year. It'll be the WWO, the woke pack world order. Mmm, that'll be so badass. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, Joe Cool Trevino. Thank you for commenting. Oh, he commented again the Spider-Man 4 video. He says, I agree with you, son. Sony constantly continues to ruin franchises and forcing their stupid, lame villain universe. Sony, let go of your ego and just make Spider-Man 4 in my voice. You idiots. I agree. They're sitting on a gold mine. Andrew Garfield ain't doing shit right now. He ain't doing shit. And the way everything works, everything CGI and stunt doubles... You don't need none of these motherfuckers to work out or nothing. You can CGI their bellies and shit off nowadays. For fuck's sakes. Um, they're ready. They're ready. And Kirsten Dunst says, I hope they bring me. They asked me to come back for one of these movies. I would do it in a second. And they asked her why. And she goes, because they pay a lot of money. And I have kids to support. I'll take anything. I'll be Mary Jane again, she says. Oh, Jose Trevino's here. I got to give him his intro because he's the most epic intro of all. Here we go. Repites tu nombre, por favor. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ¿ok? Oh, yeah. <laughs> envidia, puto. Ah, cheers! This is fucking Joe Cool. I love your fucking intro, bro. I could listen to that all day. Mm. Cheers. Make a Tobey Maguire movie featuring Andrew Garfield. He brings in his Spider-Man brother from the multiverse to help him on an adventure. In fact, you can make Spider-Man 4 and the amazing Spider-Man 3 in the same movie. If you're smart, you fucking dumbasses. You start, like, the movie starts one with one, and then it switches to the other one, and then, boom, they both get brought into the, to, to the fucking adventure through the multiverse. They gotta the, fucking help themselves, help each other. Duh! Or, this is even, it's already there. When they got transported back from Doctor Strange, you know, they were, they were both holding on to each other. They get transported into Toby's universe, and Andrew's all like, well, now what? There you go. There's your Spider-Man 4 featuring Andrew Garfield. They've been stuck there since the fucking last movie. Continuation. You idiots. A billion dollar franchise is sitting on your hand and you're wasting your money making Craven the Hunter, Venom 3s, and your goddamn stupid ass Madam Webs. All movies that should include Spider-Man in it and you don't even have it in. Fuck you, Sony. You idiots. 
Cheers, Joe Cool. Got me all riled up now. See what you do, looking guy. Oh, he he, Joe Cool. Ugh, excuse me. On the Nick Swartzen video, he says, Nick Swallow's son is a lazy mess, but to put Norm MacDonald in his league, no, sir. Norm MacDonald was a great comedian and a troll, in my humble opinion. I don't think he liked Hollywood very much, and it showed especially towards the end of his life. Dirty Work, underrated classic. Dirty Work is one of my all-time favorite fucking movies. I ain't gonna lie. I think it's hilarious, and it's amazing that Dirty Work... Uh, Came out of fucking, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Bob, Bob, Bob Saget. Bob Saget. And, uh, Bob Saget paid for most of the fucking movie and, uh, and fucking lost money making it. Uh, so it's amazing. You know, I love, I love fucking dirty work. It's, it's fucking amazing. And, uh, what was his name? Arnie? The guy with the fucked up nose from doing too much coke. He fucked up his nose. I forget what his name is. I think it's Arnie or something. The guy looks like Belushi. That guy. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I love Dirty Work. Um, he's not, no, you're right. He's, look, Norm MacDonald was, it's just the, the thing with Norm MacDonald, and it's just that he just, he didn't like Hollywood, you know? He just, just, you know, just wanted to be there. You know, not, not like be there, but, you know, oh, I'll, you want me to be on the show? Okay, I'll be on the show, whatever. Like, you know, it just all happens that he kind of blew up a little bit, got money, but he just didn't care enough to fucking become anything more. You know, like all these other guys. Like Sander and all these guys. This guy just stayed at home and shit. And you're right about that. He is not at the same level as Nick Schwartz. And I just meant to say that he's one of Sandler's friends that just doesn't try. Because Norm Norm was talented, unlike fucking Schwartz and, and those other fucking idiots from, from uh, Norm's movies. Those guys. Uh, not from Sandler's movies that come out in all his fucking movies and one of them's an idiot you know, being arrested and shit he's all fat the one that used to be all fucking big and ripped he's all fat and a crackhead now or some shit fucking idiot just ruined his life a disappointing disappointing uh, I like Adam Sandler go watch his new movie The Spaceman he's a, it's a good fucking movie R.I.P. Norm McDonald. we miss you cheers R.D. Lang, Chris Farley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris Farley was great. Chris Farley was great. It's sad when you see those documentaries, bro. Um, Because you start fucking realizing that the guy didn't think he was funny and he thought people were only laughing because he was fat. At least, you know, from all these interviews from, from other people and, you know, like he would do something, everybody be laughing and, you know, cut. And he'd be asking everybody, was that funny? Don't lie to me, please. Was that really funny? Don't, like, for real. And everybody's like, yeah, it was great. And he, like, he would keep on asking different people because he didn't believe them. They're like, they're only laughing at me because I'm fat. And that kind of sucks, bro, that he kind of felt like that. Uh, well. The bar fight is awesome. <laughs> e7. <laughs> if you like pina colada. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot uh yeah anyways let me keep going man there's a lot of comments y'all we have a long fucking show it's already eight um there's a guy new guy 911y9 i guess he says insanity on video dude for real get help and he puts a little emoji uh i don't know you're talking about me or you're talking about a fucking uh, Nick Swartzen, which I hope you're talking about Nick Swartzen, but you're talking about me. Let me just remind you that in this day and age, this is actually normal. All right. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, insanity. This is normal. If you don't look like this, you're the crazy one. You dumbass. Have you not watched the televisions? Anyways, we're moving on. Cheers. Thank you for commenting and watching the video. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's none other than this racist son of a bitch. Uh, his name was canceled for life. Uh, let me hit it for this asshole. What do you call 100 black men buried in the ground up to their neck? What? 
AfroTurf. So another one. How do we know that Adam and Eve uh, weren't black? Oh. You ever try to take a rib away from a black man? Okay, what, 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 are, what are three things that a black man can't get? A black eye, a fat lip, and a job. <laughs> I told you I'm gonna kick this boy. Someone just got canceled. Someone just got canceled. Someone just got canceled. I wonder what they did. You racist. All right. Uh, this guy says, "Until Brian Peck ruined Drake Bell." This is pretty fucked up. It is being said it was Drake Bell who had put charges on Peck that sent him to jail back then. Uh, it now it's coming to light. Amanda Bynes, Orlando Brown, Raven Simone, Alexa, Nicholas, all these kids deserve better childhoods. Sadly, their parents sold them out for money. Cheers to the man. Hashtag. Uh, dude, you fucking couldn't. I couldn't have said it better myself. That's uh, fucked up. And it, yeah, that's right. I, like I, everybody known that fucking uh, jo uh, uh, fucking Brian Peck went to jail for like a year and a half or some shit for kind of kid abuse or sexual assault or some ass. Uh, but no one knew who it was. They just and he got fired and was gone. You know, I mean, he's still around or whatever. But I mean, he was gone from the scene and shit from the little kid scene and shit. He was no longer allowed. And um, so now Drake Bell's coming out and said I was. The one, you know, is I, I woke up. He was saying he's saying that because he was like the acting coach and that a lot of times the parents would just get there and I'll oh, go with Brian and the parents would leave and he would stay there all the time. And then, oh, we're going to rehearse lines and they go to his house and sleep over. And sometimes he'd be over with Brian for a week, never even go home and shit. He says that one day he woke up and this guy was he didn't he didn't get into specifics. But I'll let your imagination run wild. He said, this guy was sexually assaulted me. I didn't know what to do. And it happened a few more times. And I finally went and told somebody. And then and they arrested the son of a bitch. Uh, you know, nothing ever happened to that fucking the Dan Schneider. And he fucked up uh, Alexa Nicolas and fucking Amanda Bynes. And this guy, Brian Peck, man. This guy was really close to Leo DiCaprio when he was doing sitcoms when he was young, man. This guy is a fucking... This guy's been molesting, fingering little kids' assholes for a long time. This is fucked up, man. Uh, and and this happened throughout the 90s, too, man. This is all put to the 2000s because all these kids, you know, like Amanda Bynes and Alexa Nicolas and all that shit. You know, the only reason this kind of stuff didn't happen to Molly Cyrus is because her dad was on the set and a character on the goddamn show the whole time. So there was no molestations of that little girl. She's the one who was molesting other motherfuckers because she was horny. But that different. Um, yeah. It just fucked up, man. That a, a network primarily that does nothing but kids programming hires a bunch of fucking pervs and shit. And then to be in charge of all these kids. Uh, does Nickelodeon still exist? I mean, does it? I don't know. I'm not, I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have cable. I, everything's on the internet that I that I watch. Uh, if Nickelodeon exists, that's pretty fucked up right now. Uh, but, yeah. It's fucked up. Drake Bell. I don't know. This is another excuse for him to come out and say, you know, like, shit. This, why, this is why why uh, why I, I send dick pics to a 14-year-old because this man fucked me up. I don't know. It was a little girl, son of a bitch. It's kind of fucked up. Uh, but I don't know, man. How I, 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 I thank God I was not sexually molested by uh, an elder when I was little. Uh, so yeah, I'm not that screwed up. I'm the normal one here in this situation. So just remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. All right, let's move on. Uh, canceled for life also says. I don't find Schwartzen's style of comedy funny. And to be honest, what he was doing on stage here was pretty embarrassing, even for him. It's embarrassing for anybody to go up there and be like, hang on, hang on. I got something. Hang on, hang on. You're going to love this. Okay, hang on. Um, um, no, wait, hang on. You're going to love this. And he was doing that for like, because I saw the whole video. He did that for like five minutes and... More? I mean, I was just like, is he gonna do something? 
fucking embarrassing. You go up there, like, you don't even have a monologue or nothing ready. You're supposed to be a comedian, a professional, a stand-up. Go up there with nothing. Fucking idiot. Anyways, yeah, cheers. Uh, cancel for life. Pissing me off thinking about that son of a bitch. I really don't like Nick Schwartz, and I'm sorry. Oh, it's our resident Canuck in the Phantom. Let me hit it for this guy. He goes, ah oh, yeah, on the Spider-Man 4 video. I guess someday I'll finally watch the more recent Spider-Man movies where Tobey Maguire came back. You'll love it. It's probably the only good ones. I like the new Spider-Man movies. I think they're all good, but some people still prefer the old school ones, which is fine. But this third one, there isn't a single person that will say that it, it sucks. It's just perfect because you see all of them together. It's great. It's great. I also don't hate Spider-Man 3 as much as the rest of the world, but man, I hate superhero outfits. Dude looking pretty old. My favorite Maguire flick is probably Pleasantville. Oh, uh, yeah. The, the, the sister's a slut. She starts fucking these people, and every time she fucks somebody, they turn to color. <laughs> it's crazy because they get... Trapped in the TV or some shit like that. This is a long time ago I saw it. Anyways. Now we really need Paul Giamatti to play a rhino again. And this time the real rhino. But we're going to get the rhino in the Craven the Hunter movie where he's not really a hunter. He's a vegan conservative and shit. Preserve. Animal preserves or whatever. Fuck you. I saw the amazing Spider-Man 2 at the drive-in. Oh, yeah, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> you know what you do at the drive-in? Masturbate. Emma Stone sucks ass, but Rhino was amazing, and I don't believe the negativity. Cheers, son. It's, um, what I didn't like from Amazing Spider-Man 2, honestly, was the Green Goblin. Because already you had the Rhino and you had Electro, and that should have been enough. You could have waited for the Green Goblin till the third movie. Because we had already seen the Green Goblin in the last franchise, so it's just like, you now you're just forcing ass. And that's the reason why Spider-Man 3 sucked ass. But because they inserted Venom. They already had Sandman. And they already had the new Green Goblin. Because the story was continuing. And then they added Venom. Which was cool. But you can't. Venom is his own movie by himself. You don't need everything else in it. Venom was actually forced in there by Sony. Raimi, Raimi was pissed. Uh, because Venom was becoming super popular in the comic books. They were selling tons of comics and toys. And they said, we need to put this character in the fucking movie. Uh, and they fucked up. Because they because the movie was not written to have Venom in it. They forced him to write him in between all the shit you already wrote. And that's already going to be a bad movie regardless of how you feed it. Just because of that situation. But anyways. Uh, yeah. I don't know. We need more Spider-Man movies, and we need less of fucking whatever the hell Madam Web and all these side asses they're coming up with. That's where they're fucking up. We need Spider-Man movies. We need, that's all we need. We don't need anything else. If you're gonna make a Rhino, put him in a Spider-Man movie. You mean Craven the Hunter? Put him in a Spider. Madam Web, put her in a Spider-Man movie with Spider-Man in them. It's not gonna make no money if you don't have Spider-Man in them. You idiots. God damn it. They're making me angry just thinking about it. all the nonsense, man. We haven't even started the show, you guys. Fuck. Uh, Jordan. On the Brian Peck ruined Drake Bell. Who is Brian Peck and who is Drake Bell? Brian Peck is a fucking pervert. He's been molesting children since who knows when. And Drake Bell is a fucking guy uh, who's hot. Uh, back in the day when he was a Teen, uh, a pre-adolescent star in the Nickelodeon show they play the guitar and shit and all the little girls you know they were horny but they didn't know what what they were feeling yet alright but that's that's what it was cheers Jordan 
Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Super Saiyan Joku on The Last Airbender. My hopes for the season two. Yes, yes, everything you said, son of man, I agree with, and I will help get the rock campaign going with you. Thanks for letting us know this news of more to come. I'm so excited about it. Cheers, mother flowers. Cheers, Joku. The motherfucker making me drinks. He also said on the Drake uh, Bell short video, Drake just needs to stop being soft. He wants to be a dick and get hard man up. And tell the details, meow. Cheers. Hashtag. Live. Look, he said it happened several times. So either this guy was fingering him in his ass or was sucking his dick. What else could it have been? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. It's fucked up, bro. You do that to a kid? Uh, I'm telling you, this guy and Leonardo DiCaprio have probably been intimate. I'm telling you, man, Leonardo Capra was like fucking 14, 15 years old hanging out with Bram Peck on sets of these TV shows and shit. And there's a video, and Leo's super young. You can look it on the internet. I don't know what it's called, but look it up on YouTube. And Bram Peck is saying, uh, this is uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Leo's young, probably like 14, 13. And he comes up to him, and, he's, and, and he goes like, hey, what's up? And then he's like, this kid right here, this is the hottest, youngest uh, teen sensation. Look at him. He's so sexy. And and Leo's all like laughing. Ah, yeah, whatever. And shit. And, and I'm all like, now you'll see that video after learning this kind of shit. And you're all like, that's fucked up, bros. That's really fucked up. And Leo's a big star. Imagine what he did for his fame and fortune. I mean, he took forever to get an Oscar. Forever. Even though he was good. He was good from the very beginning. What's eating Gilbert Grape? Fucking the basketball diaries. He was good from the very beginning, but he didn't give the Oscars. You wanna know why? It's because they really, really fucked him. For years and years and years. Until he got in the revenant. One of the stupidest movies to get an Oscar for. He hardly had any fucking lines. For fuck's sakes. Dumb as fuck. Anyways, cheers, Joku. Uh I think this might be the last one. Let me Make sure. Yes. Joe is Super Saiyan Joku is also the last comment. And he says, Anything with Jackie Chan... Oh, yeah, on the Jackie Chan new Karate Kid movie. Anything with Jackie Chan is dope. My favorite cousin. Cheers, Muff Flowers. Um, I remember the first Jackie Chan movie that I went to go see in theaters because it's the only one that, I, that had been premiering in theaters. It was called Jackie Chan's First Strike. It was fucking sick, bro. There was so much cool shit that, like, I, like, you could tell this stuff was real. Because when you see a Hollywood movie, you see the cuts and the editings. But you don't really notice that, the cuts and the edits. You don't notice it until you see a Jackie Chan movie. And there's no cuts. You're seeing fucking the movement of everything. And you're all like, this is real. Uh, it's crazy. And then... What was cool about that movie is because I had never seen a Jackie Chan movie. Is at the end of it, they show all the bloopers. But they're not bloopers. They're basically close calls of him almost dying. Doing these fucking stunts. I'm all like, fuck. It's insane, bro. There was one where I remember, and this is a long time ago I saw this. He jumped through the fucking ladder, like through the one of the, the holes in the ladder, like to, to slide because he was being chased and he was going to slide into the middle and then use the ladder. Well, he did that, but he didn't fall straight through it. He, he kind of got stuck and bent and the ladder bent and clamped on him. Everyone. Oh, shit. I just knocked this shit down. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ah, I'll fuck with it in a while. Everyone fucking just I, this light just fell, but everyone just as soon as the ladder just clamped on him, everyone just ran up like to oh my god, like all these like fucking Asian people like trying to fucking un, like make sure he doesn't fucking get sliced in half and shit. Um, that was my first Jackie Chan movie was Jackie Chan First Strike, uh, Rumble in the Bronx. I seen that one. There's so many that are good, man. 
Uh, and of course, I'm not going to lie, to me, still the best are the Rush Hour, because when you add Chris Tucker's comedic element to it, it's just perfect. It was just so fun and, and good. Uh, I liked it a lot, the Rush Hours. I hope, I still pray, there's talks, but I still pray they make a new one. Who knows what's going to happen with that. Um, anyways, uh, that's it for the comments. I do want to say I appreciate each and every one of you as always number one for being here and number two especially because this isn't even the real channel this is a dud channel so i'm i'm happy you guys found the link i sent it to a few of you thank god you saw it um but yeah i mean people don't even watch us and so and somehow we we got a few of you watching us so that's good uh you found the link so i thank you for being here and i thank you for commenting because you know we it would be a really short show if i didn't have the comments so i appreciate you guys Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.